today I have another vlog. We are camping at Lake Barumba at Imbul. Never been here before. It's a pretty nice campsite. So we're just starting to set up. We've got the awning out. Let me show you around. So we just pack everything onto the ute. Well, Clinton packs everything onto the ute. <laughs> We've got our nice big fridge and Clinton set up all the mechanics there. Got the solar panel running. This is the little campsite. You can usually have fires here, but there's a fire ban at the moment because of all the bushfires. And then the lake's down there. So we're just setting up the tent and we realized we forgot pillows and a sleeping bag <laughs> first time campers or what got a solution hold the top of the mattress oh yeah it's so uncomfortable <laughs> Easy creative clinton at it again he's taken the headrests out of his car in luxury tonight baby <laughs> we've just cooked ourselves a scrumptious lunch of sausages and salad bellissimo bellissimo on our new Weber thanks to Clinton's mum new to us yeah new to us used our camping gear in so long the fork broke and this knife's about to break oh there we go, I just pushed it to its limits. We're just going for a little paddle in the river. I'm not very good at this. Oh shit. No, I just paddle one side more. What is that sound? Just a lizard. Oh. That looks strong. Yeah, yeah. Paddle's in a circle. It's strong on one side. No, 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 paddle, paddle left side. Paddle left side. No. <laughs> if you're going left, just paddle left. No, paddle left. Just paddle left. I feel like one of those people that fucking sit in back of those racing kayaks and have to tell you how to stroke. Look, I'll just relax. How beautiful is the reflection on the water? Now we've got the terrible task of carrying the 40 kilo kayak back up that damn hill. We're really excited to eat our dinner and then go to bed with no pillows or blankets. I can't wait. <laughs> We thought about, oh, we've got like a, blocks the sun out. We thought about using that as a blanket. So what we did today is wrote a list of all the things we need to repack because we forgot so much this time. So next time we will be very prepared. Good morning. So I bet you're all wondering how our sleep was with no blankets. It was great. Hang on a minute. So it was freezing cold and it was very uncomfortable as well. What was your favourite part, Clinton? Um, the hypothermia was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we used that, um, what's it called? Uh, the side. Side. Yeah, yeah we tried to use that cool. as a blanket, but because it's not a blanket, it ended up like getting condensation on it. So <laughs> it was wet. <laughs> So right now, you just saw I'm cooking some bacon and eggs. We're gonna have some buns. Um, what else we forgot was milk for our coffees. So and Clinton sugar. <laughs> and sugar. So Clinton just brewed up this nice black coffee, and he said it's disgusting. So here we have two kookaburras waiting for me to take a bite of my food and then I bet they'll swoop down and take it. 
because you think a kookaburra is a nice Australian animal, but it's not. One time I was eating a Vegemite on toast and a kookaburra swooped past me and snatched the toast out of my hands. Didn't it? I was traumatized. He doesn't care. Crow or a magpie. Piss off, bird. Go away. There's still one kookaburra up there. I'm watching you. Alright, we're all packed up. Everything is away. We're gonna go check out the dam now because next time we come, we'll bring the boat. And do some water sports. This was a great little camping spot though, definitely recommend. Well, we are heading home now, so I will talk to you later. What have you been doing, Grandpa? I was asleep. Did you have a grizzly bear? My dear, pretty deep. We're just out on the property putting the camping gear away, and one of our mates rocked up with his kitty and their bikes, so the boys are out riding their bikes. My sisters are going to come pick me up, and I'm going to go hang with them. Yes. Last night's sleep was so good, having the luxury of a pillow and a blanket again. <laughs> I still just cannot believe we forgot to pack them. Like, despite all the things we forgot, we still had such a good time. It's so nice going camping and not having any distractions and just spending some quality time together. But as I was saying, you saw the boys on their motorbikes yesterday and then my sisters come and pick me up and I went to my mum's house for a while and chilled out there, hung out with my little niece. She is 10 months old already, which is just crazy. And then last night I had some friends come over. We just had a little cheese and wine and then we went and got Maccas for dinner. So today is Monday and I just need to get my week organized. So I guess you can just follow me around for the rest of the day and see what I get up to. So I'm going to make some lunch. I picked up these from Coles the other day. They are little falafel bites. So I'm going to make a wrap with some avo, tzatziki, cucumber, and spinach. Should be delicious. Coles has really stepped up their little vegetarian section. So I hope these are delish. I've actually been really, really slack with my eating lately. And I can tell because I am breaking out so bad and I just need to get on top of it get motivated again because realistically I've got a wedding soon and I need to pull back on the junk food <laughs> like I've got pimples on my forehead which I rarely get pimples there I've got like clusters on my cheek and my chin here I'm just not feeling my best so it's time to take control actually wrapping wraps has never been a strength of mine so I don't know how I'm going to wrap this, but look, 
I'll eat it somehow. Let me just move old Ross out the way there so he's not dangling in your face. All right, so I have just been editing all morning, doing a few little... Ross, get back up there. Yeah, I've been doing a few little around the house computer kind of shit. So I am off to Coles now to do my grocery shopping and I think I might just whip into Kmart real quick because you know I can't help myself. And I saw on Instagram they have these really cute like little macrame um, bags in stock. So I wanna see if my local Kmart has them because they look freaking cute. Ross just doesn't wanna hide. Here we go, you can say hello. Okay, so they don't have the macrame bags in stock yet, but they have so many new headbands at the moment. Love them all. And they actually have these cute backpacks. Sometimes Kmart's backpacks can look a little bit cheap, but I think the white one looks all right. And then they've also got these tinier ones here if you want something smaller. Does anyone else just love these Coles magazines? Woolworths does them too, full of really good recipes. I bought this chickpea fettuccine last week and it's actually really tasty. So I think I might pick this up again. I'm trying not to have takeaway on Friday nights, so I think I'll have this instead. Still a bit of a treat. Alright, so if you've seen my last vlog, you would have seen that I like to plan out my meals. So for breakfast this week, I got some coconut yogurt and I'll have that with some blueberries and strawberries and I'll add some nuts as well. And then later on in the week, I'll make overnight oats again with the berries and the nuts. For lunches, I'm going to have the falafel wraps. Wednesday, I do a big day at work, so I'll just eat something there. And then Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna have leftover risotto that I make for dinner on Tuesday night. Wednesday night, sorry. Tomorrow for dinner, we'll have like a Mexican bowl. I bought like this smoky barbecue tofu last week that I still need to eat. Pumpkin quinoa risotto, lemon and herb chicken with some broccolini, which I got here. And I'll also have some beans with that. And then Friday night's usually our takeaway, but I'm gonna be good. And so that's why I got the chickpea fettuccine. So I think I'll have that with this tomato sauce. In my attempt to lose a bit of weight before the wedding, I decided smoothies are going to be my afternoon snack instead of a bag of chips. <laughs> it's a hard transition. I love chips, but Coles sells heaps of frozen fruit. So I've already got like blueberries and raspberries in the freezer. So I've got some mango as well. Got some apples for snacks, some little hummus tubs, really good snack size. So with some carrot sticks or crackers. I got some feta to put on my quinoa risotto because look, I just gotta have feta, okay? So yeah, I'm not going too strict with my eating, but I do just need to rein it back in to what I used to eat like. <laughs> because I've really gone off track here. Bringing home like chips and chicken for lunch every day, eating bags of chips every five minutes. Like it's just, it's gotta stop. For the rest of the afternoon, I'm just going to pack these groceries away. I gotta pick out a bit of washing, maybe do some more editing, nothing too crazy. And then we are going to my mum's for family dinner tonight. So I'll end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and you can also come follow me over on my Instagram. I will have that link down below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave me a comment and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.